Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a VPN server using Windows Server 2012. For this, I'm going to divide the uh, tutorial in three sections. Setting up the server, setting up the firewall, and setting up the client computer. So let's begin. In Server 2012, go to Server Manager, and then click on Add Roles and Features. Here, click on Next. Make sure that role-based or feature-based is selected. Click on Next. Here, select the uh, local server where you wish to install the VPN. And Next. Now, select Remote Access Role. And click on Add Features next here. I'm not going to install any additional features so click on next. Next here too. Now here make sure that direct access and VPN is selected from the role services. Next. Next here. Now here I'm gonna leave everything default. I'm gonna click on next. I previously uh, tested this and it works fine. I don't need to add additional service. Now click on install. I'm going to fast forward this. Perfect. Close here and now it gave me an additional uh, option here. So click on remote access. And now click on the more link where it says configuration required for direct access and VPN. And from this window, click on Open the Getting Started wizard. Now here, click on Deploy VPN Only. This will bring up the uh, Routing and Remote Access MMC. So now right-click on the server and select Configure and Enable Routing and Remote Access. Click Next to the wizard. And here select custom configuration. Next. And here select VPN access. And click on next. Finish the wizard. And this will tell you that the firewall is not configured. We're going to get to that in a second. So all you need to do here is just click on OK. Everything is fine and then start service. Perfect. Now my routing and remote access is properly configured. Now right click on the server and click on properties. Now select the uh, IP version 4 tab. And here you can select your static address pool if you like. I'm going to leave this dynamic, which I don't recommend by the way, but for tutorial purposes. I'm going to close here, close here also, and now I'm going to uh, Active Directory Users and Computers by going to Tools and Active Directory. Now here I'm going to select the users or user that is going to connect via the VPN by going to the users or a specific user that I created in the sales department OU here which is me. So right click properties and now click on the dial in tab and this is very important by the way and check mark or check allow access. Apply to save the settings. OK perfect now we're done with the server now we need to configure the firewall so I'm gonna close here close here too and now click on the Windows key in the keyboard and type firewall make sure the app uh, settings is selected and now select allow and app throughout a firewall 
This is the local Windows firewall. But believe it or not, you need to enable routing and remote access here. So select that and now check mark private and public. Perfect. Now click on OK. Now we need to configure the router to enable us to connect via VPN to the server. So open the um, Internet Explorer and type the IP address of your gateway. I'm using a Linksys router, so it's uh, 192.168.1.1. Here type your login credentials. Okay. Oh my god. Add this. Add. Close. Perfect. Now it didn't load up properly. I'm going to refresh the, the page here. Perfect. Now in your case, uh, you're probably going to click on port forwarding. But this is a Linksys, so it's application and gaming, single port forward. Now make sure you enable PPTP, port 1723, external and internal. Protocol, protocol both, and then the IP address of the server, which is 192.168.1.191, I think. Let me make sure. One moment, please. And is 195. 195 here. Now, remember, on some routers, you probably would have to configure a pass through option here, but this is not my case. Now I'm going to save my settings here, and that's it. My router and Windows firewall is properly configured. Now I need to configure my client computer. Go to control panel and here select network and sharing center. This process applies to Windows Vista, Windows 7 and Windows 8. Click on set up a network connection or network. Connect to a workplace here. Click on next. Use internet connection VPN and now type the IP address of the server. I'm going to use the local IP address but you can use the WAN IP address also and click on create. Now I'm using Windows 8 so it came up with this option here on the right. Now most of the people what they do is just connect to the VPN connection. We have to configure this connection so right click and click on view connection properties and here select security tab now on the data encryption drop down select a different encryption select this one optional encryption connect even if no encryption and here select allow this protocols Microsoft shop version 2 click OK and now we're ready to connect. So double click, connect. Type the user name and password that we enabled the uh, VPN connection in the uh, Active Directory and click on OK. Perfect. The VPN is connected. This is good news. Now as you can see here VPN connection 3. Now if we go to the routing and remote access in the server you'll notice that you have one client connected to the VPN. Thank you for watching this video my name is Miguel if you have any questions please feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.